Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and in this video I'll be going over the various vehicle discounts that are now active in GTA Online as of Thursday the 21st of November 2019. All of these are going to be available for one week until Thursday the 28th of November. So first of all the Nothing Mark II was released today. While a little quicker than the original Nothing from last week, it's also slightly more expensive at just over zero dollars. But yes, once again, if you're waiting for the POT gasser, it's not happening this week. I'm starting to wonder now if we'll ever see it. The podium vehicle this week is the Krieger, which can be won by spinning the lucky wheel in the casino. It's in the supers class and is probably the best car we've had the chance to win so far. With it being the most expensive regular car in the entire game, if you already own one, you'll get a nice profit for selling it and using the other one that you win instead. Also, if you don't already own one, now is the time to get it. The Krieger sits alongside the Emirates at the very top of the Supers class when it comes to lap time and races, and is the easier to drive of the two. The premium race this week is Route 68, which is an old style point to point race for the Muscles class. With it basically being a completely full throttle straightish line from one side of the map to the other, I recommend the Piss Wasser Dominator for this one, although if you play the Slipstream game right, a wide variety of cars will get you the win. Also, the regular time trial this week is Raton Canyon, with the RC time trial being Little Soul Park. In terms of regular vehicle discounts, it's an interesting concept this week. We've got 35% off pretty much all Pegasi brand cars and bikes, including the Tesseract, which used to be the most expensive regular car in the game, bringing its price down from $2.8 million to $1.8. There's a number of great quick cars from Pegasi such as the Osiris, Tempesta and Zentorno, as well as absolute classics like the Infernus, Vaca and Monroe, but none of them, Tesseract included, are able to compete at the top of their classes for racing despite being nice to drive. Except of course for the Tauros, which is the easy number one for the SUVs class and has a much improved driving experience after the advanced handling flag changes. You can get that for just over $300,000 now instead of $500,000. Oh, and the two versions of the Bati 801 still have competitive top speeds, but having a discount on a bike that only costs $15,000 seems redundant. For weaponized vehicles, there's just the original Oppressor this week, again made by Pegasi, that now costs $1.7 million instead of $2.7 million. The only Pegasi vehicles not on sale are the new Zorusso Supercar, Speeder Boat, S key Faggio and Vortex bikes, and of course the Oppressor Mark II. I actually think it's pretty cool to have sales for specific brands like this, and I hope it's a trend that continues. You can of course find out the lap times and top speeds of all the vehicles that I've mentioned here by checking out the playlist links in the description and the pinned comment. In terms of discounts specifically for Twitch Prime members who've linked their Rockstar Social Club accounts, it doesn't seem like there's anything else beyond the extra 10% off the regular discounts I mentioned earlier this week. At least not that I can see, which would be the first time we haven't seen a big 70-80% to 80 discount on two vehicles for Prime members. The extra 10% is there as usual though, saving you an extra 300k on the Tesseract and 250k on the Oppressor for example, while making the best in class Tauros cost just 275k. Also, if you do have Twitch Prime and you haven't already, make sure you're giving your free subscription to a Twitch streamer each month as well. It doesn't have to be me, but make sure you're giving it to someone as you're basically supporting them with a $2.50 donation without any extra cost to you. I'll be back with another video just like this next Thursday, the 28th of November, where the new vehicle will either be the POT gas and muscle car, or, as was the case these last two weeks, nothing, as we reach the end of the casino DLC drip feed, and we'll go through everything that's changed after I've done the testing videos, of course. Feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. Thanks a lot for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.